One third of the population is obese. The number of American women who reported no physical activity in their free time increased from about 19% in 1994 to nearly 52% today. In men, that number rose from about 1% to 44% in those 20 years. But it's not only about the exercise. There can be no doubt that dietary excess leads to problems. But researchers have concluded that our calorie-laden diets now generate more ill health than physical inactivity, alcohol, and smoking combined. But calorie counting alone isn't the answer. The source of those calories matters too. For example, for every additional 150 calories of a sugary, say a, a can of cola, there's an 11-fold increase in the prevalence of type 2 diabetes compared to 150 calories obtained from fat or protein, something healthier. These results were independent of the person's weight or their physical activity. Researchers concluded that changing the food intake and activity levels to reach a healthy weight are key to fighting obesity epidemics in this country. It's time to wind back the clock that harm has caused with all this junk food industry and the public relations machinery that pushes it to us. So let's bust this myth of physical inactivity and obesity. You can't outrun a bad diet.